This is CNA Lifestyle's Style Switch with Yang De Rong. Empowering professionals to take on the world with new style. Hi, I'm John Kim and I'm a venture capitalist. I think my style situation is really an identity situation. It's something that is a reflection of the inner me. The tendency for me was just to go to the baseline, the lowest common denominator. So I ended up going much more casual. And I think you can be casual and intentional, but it was sort of casual and sloppy. And I think I kind of veered in that direction. My wife has pretty strong views about a lot of issues, but certainly about my style. She was one of the main driving forces behind the fact that uh, I became aware, I suppose, that this is something I needed to pay attention to. It's been a, um, a journey, I suppose, a little bit. If you look at my life, I've also not just interacted with lots of different types of people, but I've been in many different worlds myself and kind of almost been different people in a sense. I'm a believer in continuous improvement, and I believe a lot of little changes uh, add up over time. You are a venture capitalist. It's kind of like, do you have to be almost formal or semi-formal or just a smart casual will do? Entrepreneurs that I interact with, they're very, very casual oftentimes, sometimes in berms and a t-shirt. Uh -huh. uh, and then sometimes I interact with business development partners or investors who are much more formal. So this is part of what I need to figure out is what do I need to wear for each of the different environments that I'm in. Show me what you brought today. Sure, let's take a look. This is kind of just a little cross-section of some of the things that I wear. Okay, this is pretty, as you can see, pretty standard. But the thing that's tough for me is that often it's hard for me to buy off the rack because my shoulders are very broad. And so to get something that fits here and then at the same time will be tight enough down in my waist areas. You know, especially for your shoulders, mm. you probably need to have your shirts bespoke mm. or tailored made. Mm. I think definitely um, the collars is one thing you can work on. If you look at this, mm. this is like a classic collar, but you might want to try different collars. You know what, we're going to try you on a few different shirts with a few different collars so you can actually see which one fits you best. Wow. This is really sharp, it's cool, it's smart, and it's casual at the same time. Yeah, I really love it. I think it's a clean look and one that is very casual, and I think it would fit right in. Uh, I remember I was sitting with the CEO of a, of a large corporation here. At the end of the meeting, he looked at me and I had jeans and a t-shirt, and I said, um, yeah, you know, the person who's most casually dressed is usually the most senior person. He was obviously, he was much more senior than me. So we all kind of chuckled and I said, no, 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, be, to message it that way. You know, to top that, we're going to add a blazer. This jacket has a nice texture. It has a nice easiness. It's about the same kind of fabric that you get on your polo t-shirt, but they made it into a jacket. Remember we spoke about the collars earlier? Mm. So this shirt, which is a nice slim collar, will take you from your entrepreneurs' meetings into your investors' meeting in one go. Wow. Just like that. Wow. It looks fantastic. It looks really cool, right? Yeah. And you look great in it. How do you feel in it? I feel awesome. I feel so smart. It really is magic. Imagine if you have this and also a sporty parka that actually travels well with you. I think that would do the trick. Yeah. This is going to be a really easy transition for you, especially when you walk from the airport into a boardroom and you have to actually get into a meeting. You just simply have to just peel off your grey parka. Mm. And you're good to sit on any boards and command a meeting. Most of our portfolio, they're actually in Silicon Valley, so I go there once a month. There's a lot of one-to-one -one work, uh, just meeting entrepreneurs, a lot of meetings. So John, we've tried you in a few things, but for your final look, we are actually going to take you to the events. For somebody like John, he can actually get away with being smart, casual, understated, because, you know, he's not exactly a super loud or super casual. He's kind of like always in the middle ground. It all depends on like what he's going to be doing or who he's going to be seeing. Oh my God, you look like a modern, totally hip Steve Jobs. Oh my goodness. Wow. I love it. You feel so much lighter, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. With this look, it actually, you know, takes you from the office like say Silicon Valley, to a major LA gala. Wow. Love it. 
That's all you need to do. Just top up with that jacket. I think you look so super cool. And at the same time, kind of understated. You know? Understated? Yeah, you get it all together there with a pair of sneakers. You can walk into a major gala. How do you think your wife's gonna be? I think she'll drop on the floor. <laughs> like totally like, boom. Steve Jobs meets uh, Michael Jackson. Woohoo! Love it. <laughs> do you do the moonwalk? If you're asking for money, it helps to wear a tie. If not, wear something stylish.